everyone today is uh, October 21st it's Saturday and we had a week of rain 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 and some more rain it's been a very wet week so we haven't done <laughs> much um, it's a holiday in the Netherlands so uh, the business I work for well, a couple of people are, uh, have a week off, so that means the rest of us have to work a little bit more. So I had a week of uh, 38 hours. Uh, it was very busy at work, so it was uh, very tiring. I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> it's been a, a hectic week for me. Um, I thought it might be fun to do a little tour of the farm. So let's start by the house. So as you can see, we have closed this part up. It was all open. And now we have a dry spot for our firewood. And close to the door so we don't have to go all the way to the sheds or to the back of the field to get firewood. And a nice detail of the glass bricks. This is the cherry tree closest to the house. And this one is sick. I'm not sure what it is, but it's getting worse. The previous owner of our house said it was okay and we can treat it, but I'm not sure. The other cherry tree, as you can see, there are blossoms, but I don't think there will be cherries. It's too late in the season. But it has been quite warm for October, so the tree is a bit confused. This is our passion fruit, which we bought in uh, the summer. Uh, it was this big. And now it's this big. And it also has flowers. And I saw one fruit the other day, but unfortunately it fell off. A lot of lemons, new lemons in our one and only lemon tree. Mr. Rooster. Hello, Mr. Rooster. I don't know what the chickens are. Let's see if we can find them on, from the other side. I think they're in there. 
some coop. A little pond keeps filling with water. As you can see, the pipe over there, uh, it's the water from the well in front of our house. It used to go to the swimming pool, but Gert says extended the pipe and made it so that it will fill the pond. It needs a lot of work. It's not done yet. As you can see, the river, but that's not what I was going to say. There are oranges everywhere. They all keep falling from the tree. I don't know why. They're not ripe yet. They're sour. They're yellow instead of orange. But there are still some left in the tree. Let's hope they will get sweet. And I don't know what to do with all these. Even the pigs but they won't eat all of them. I brought a thousand oranges last weekend to Cindy for all of her pigs. So I think I can go again this week. Even in the pigs area, there are quite a few oranges on the ground and they don't eat them. Oh dear, we forgot to tell you, as you can see, we have two pigs, Mamu and Mara. Hi guys. We slaughtered one of the pigs, Mali. This was not my decision, but it is part of farm life. We slaughtered it for the meat. And now we have two left, and they will stay alive. And there is Oli. Hi Oli. Hi <laughs> sweetie. So we haven't uh, updated you about Oli, I think, before we guys. To tell you. <coughs> Oli. <coughs> So we've got to tell you about Oli. Uh, Oli has been very um, sad and uh, not eating and uh, not walking around. He was sleeping all the time. Oli, turn around. I don't want to film your ass. So we went to the vet with him and uh, they did a blood test and. Uh, it turned out he has a leishmaniosis, which is a disease in the Mediterranean area. Um, 
it's uh, um, I don't know the English words. Uh, they get it from uh, some kind of fly, and uh, the dogs who already live here they will get uh, bitten many times in their life from a young age, and then they uh, make antibodies for it. But Oli and Indy are not from around here, so they are more vulnerable to it. And yeah, he has uh, nismoniosis, and he's on uh, medication. He probably will need that for the rest of his life. It took, I think, two weeks before the medication did his work, and now he's just walking around, eating twice a day. He's happy. He is, uh, he is back. Our Ollie is back. We thought it might be the end of, uh, of him a couple of weeks ago. But the medications are really doing uh, their work. Olive trees have a lot of olives in them this year. They have a lot of them on the ground as well. But let's see how many we will have when we go harvest them. I think it will be probably in one or two weeks. And the olives on the ground are all for the pigs. I think the pigs would like them. My new kiwi, it's still alive, <laughs> which is uh, quite an accomplishment for me. This one almost died, but it is still alive. I found a surprise the other day. And I'm on the other pigs. Here is our little wine field. And over here, there was a little spot where I put some poop from the pigs. And let's see what started to grow. A pumpkin. Uh, no fruits yet. These are all male flowers. I think I saw one the other day from the other side. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah, but it's yellow, so I don't think that's gonna make it. Oh, wait, there is another one. Let's see. seating area Gerd made for our Dutch evening. We had a wonderful time. I think we showed you in uh, one of our videos a little bit. And we can use it for 
future events. I think the Dutch evening will be an annual event. So this is all ready for next year. from it this year. We did have last year so maybe this is the the year of rest for the tree. Oh and I found I have another one on the first field. That one did have a couple of uh, persimmons on it. So we had a couple of uh, vines which had uh, Kind of a mold disease. We have to treat them this year. As you can see, I left the uh, fruits, um, especially this big one in the back. We have a lot of uh, mold, so I hope it will help with the uh, treatment and make sure it doesn't spread to the other ones. I think we have to treat this whole area. It's only on this uh, this area here and those on the other side. So we're gonna get some uh, biological uh, products and treat them. As you can see, the cherry farm from our neighbor has been uh, cut down half of it. So we'll probably plant some new ones, I think. Okay, let's fix this area. And completely uh, flatten it out, but with all the rain, we can't do it again in the, in the spring. There are a whole lot of Acorns, the pigs love them, and I collect them as you have seen in the previous video. And there are also a lot on the tree. And here we are at the back of our property. The end of the tour. Uh, the next uh, job on the farm will be the harvest of the olives and then pruning all the vines. So they're ready for next year. Uh, I think I will we have to do it before the winter or after. So I will see if I get to it uh, in the next couple of weeks. So you can still see the damage from the fire. And you can see it's very cloudy today. So we're probably gonna get some more rain. And I think it will rain for the next couple of weeks, months, maybe. So that's it. A little tour of our farm. I hope you liked it. Um, I think I'm gonna hibernate for the next couple of months because it's getting colder. And I really don't like the cold. But we can't uh, complain because it's nothing like the Netherlands. Uh, we didn't get any frost last year, last winter, so let's see uh, what will happen this year. We did have uh, snow on the Serra de Estrella. I made a little snowman. Well, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye!